Hello, welcome, or welcome back. I'm Savalian, a software dev slash creative, and today we're actually going to be talking about the new Plate Up update. So basically, I was working on my next video in my creature modeling series for Unity, and I'm just not ready. I need a little bit more time to properly, you know, lay out the, the videos so that it was easy to follow. And it just so happens that Plate Up recently released an update and I hadn't been able to check it out yet. So this is my first look at the new year update for 2023. It has been over a month since I last played, but I'm really, really happy to have a chance to do some plate up. I have been so busy and I'm just looking through the costume stuff. I know that the lights, the Christmas lights on your head is obviously the, the winter update, but I really like these. So we're going to take those and I'm going to start by picking dumplings, the new entree, and also the lake map, which is another new part of the update. I really like this one with the extra doors in the middle, and since people always ask, the seed is D J G W 9 M 3 6, and you should be able to see it in the top right. Right after loading in, I already love the map. The sparkling water is really pretty. It's nice and roomy. I like when they give us a nice roomy restaurant uh, as part of like the weekly or daily seeds. I tried practice mode immediately and I didn't realize at first that you do need both meat and carrots in every dumpling set. For some reason I read the directions and I thought it would be an option like stir fry, like they would have a meat dumpling or a veggie dumpling, uh, but that's not actually it. You do chop meat, chop carrot, combine that with some dough and then uh, you have to like knead it, you have to form the dumplings, and then you cook it. So there's a lot of steps on this one, which I, I know can get, it can really get you as you get busier, so we'll have to be careful about that. I also love the red envelopes instead of the usual envelopes i didn't notice these until after the first day these are so cute and they have little rabbits on them because it's the the year of the rabbit very cute one thing i notice is that the meat chopping is really time consuming so that's gonna drag you down a little bit you know, that, the, the time-consuming meat chopping, and then all of the different steps for the dumplings. Even though they cook really fast, I can see this getting a little bit overwhelming. For the first card, I got bamboo as an option, so I picked that. Whenever I go through a new update with that adds like dishes, I always try to pick the new stuff uh, because I want to play with it, even if it's not necessarily the most opti optimal option or the most uh, practical for the run I'm doing. So I picked bamboo as a side. I've never done this before. It looks like it works just like the broccoli. You just boil it in some water and then portion it out. And I'll probably speed through a couple of the days here because this run I think took me about an hour and I don't really want to put an hour <laughs> video out on YouTube. So uh, let me know. Let me know how you like this format. I'm not sure really. My idea is kind of to hit on the, the new stuff and the interesting points and then sort of speed through the stuff that's a little bit more business as usual. But let me know what you would like to see. I definitely could just put an entire playthrough of Played Up out, you know, uncut, so to speak, but I probably won't do commentary for it that's really what I do on Twitch and things like that so I probably won't do that here but let me know if you would just like to chill with some plate up 
noises in the background and I could definitely get that for you. A couple days in, there has not been a second research desk yet, so I'm a little bit worried. Mostly what I need is mixers though, and we haven't seen the mixers either, so um, you know, nothing is really coming up that I would have wanted to upgrade right away, but it definitely makes me nervous to not see the research desk come up. It took me almost until card two to notice that everything's cheaper. I think it might be a buff on the lake map that I forgot about, uh, but definitely all the all the stuff is cheaper than it usually is. And then I've noticed as I upgrade, the upgraded items are the the normal price. So there's I think they've got the franchise card built into this one that makes everything a little bit cheaper. The, ne the second card, I really didn't want to increase customers, so I picked Cherry Pie, even though it's pretty annoying, and if everyone decides to order pie, it could end my run. It's You have to make the pie crust and then cook it and then recook it with the cherries, which is pretty rough, especially without a mixer to make the pie crusts. So I'm really, basically every part of my system here could benefit from having a mixer. Uh, and the dumplings do not earn much money, so I don't have a lot of re-roll cash. I did manage to get that copying desk, which is really, I usually go for the copying desk first. Sometimes I'll go for the discount desk, especially if I'm planning on trying to get a teleporter up, because you really just can't do them without the discount desk, they're way too expensive, so... Uh, I'm not really feeling that for this run, I don't think it's going to be useful, so going for copy desk first. Now card three. I did not like the options here. They were both pumpkin options. And pumpkins are, are really hard to deal with because they produce waste unless you have pumpkin seeds as a starter and another pumpkin dish. And I just picked the pies because if I picked soup, it would have added another course. And the fewer courses, the better, really, especially since every single table will order a starter if you have any at all. Uh, so it's still pretty rough that I don't have a way to automate the pie crusts yet, but we're gonna, we're gonna just work with it. Finally, I got a mixer and was able to upgrade it. I got the conveyor mixer, which I like. It really works a lot better if I can get some conveyor belts, but we will see if, if the RNG gods favor me and give me some conveyor belts at some point. But for now, this is good. I do have to keep saving up money to buy these because they're pretty expensive without a discount desk. And mostly, you know, this is working out. It's definitely gotten a bit tight at some points when we have multiple people ordering desserts. But I think they might have turned down the incidence of desserts. Because it, it feels like most customers don't order desserts, and I I remember it being a lot more tough in other previous runs before this update. I'll have to check the patch notes to be sure if they actually made a change here, but it feels a lot more kind, especially with the pies, because the pies are so involved. Uh, the cherry and the apple pies are much worse, because you have to double bake them, basically. Uh, but this is going well. Once I was able to get two mixers, one for the meat and one for the carrots, things went a lot better. At one point I also did get a heated mixer, which actually works perfectly for the dumplings. If I'm doing like a full dumpling automation, I think I definitely want a heated mixer there at the end because 
basically you can just drop the dough onto the food there and it will complete the dumpling, make it into a dumpling, and then cook it all in one space. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck there if you can get a heated mixer. For the fourth star, I got two different dumpling options. One was soy sauce and one was a side of fried seaweed. And I don't know for sure, I haven't seen this in action, but I'm guessing from the way that the card is written that the soy sauce acts like ketchup for hot dogs, where the customer will request it after they've started eating. And I hate that. Uh, it really, really disrupts the flow of things. And it can definitely kill your run if you just don't notice that they're asking for soy sauce or, you know, ketchup. I'm going off an assumption here. Uh, feel free to let me know if that's not how it works. I'm sure I'll get it eventually and check it out, but I just didn't have time in this run. Uh, but that's why I picked the fried seaweed, which is pretty cool. It's very easy. If you have a safety hob and a grabber, you can just automate this super fast. Just load up all the seaweed onto the safety hob, pick it up when they order it. It would be really easy, and I believe it did provide that, like, minus 15% customers because it's another, like, dish. So, really just a win-win on the fried seaweed. And once I got that heated mixer set up, it really went super fast. I I was so worried about the dumplings, but finding that heated mixer sort of hack where you just drop everything on there and it finishes the process means that I could go do something else. I can prepare the pie crusts, I can make some more bamboo, whatever, whatever I need. Um, having that little end process of the dumplings automated was pretty nice. And after what seemed like no time at all, we made it. We cleared day 15. I picked a franchise card. I don't even remember which one I picked. Uh, I'm sure it's not important, but you'll see it on screen. But there it is. I thought that was a really nice. I wish I had gotten the mandarin oranges that they added as a starter. I believe that's the last dish that they added. I think they added one starter, one side, and one main. Though as I'm saying that, they probably added a dessert too, right? I can't remember. Again, I'll need to review the patch notes and I'll put a note on screen somewhere if, if I've missed something, but I had a lot of fun. I like the dumplings. I like them because they are just involved enough where it's interesting to make and try to think of automation for them, but they're not so involved or so specific that it's going to be a, like a pain to automate them and really that's my favorite part of played up is figuring out ways to automate the process i don't know i just really like it <laughs> it's fun and that's why i'm a little sad that I, we didn't get any conveyor belts because i think that would just add just that nice frosting on the cake uh to this run of played up but i am going to be stopping this at day 15. i would have kept going but honestly i have to run some errands today so i have to cut it off here but I will keep playing off video and see how far I get, and if anything crazy happens, I'll put it in a comment or in the description or something. But I'm pretty happy with this update. I'm so impressed. I think they're doing a great job adding new things to the game that make it more interesting without overwhelming, you know, new players or even existing players. I think with games like this, it can be really tempting to just sort of pump content into it you know add a bunch of dishes and just really go overboard but everything that they've released so far and it's been like a lot of holiday updates seasonal updates everything has been so well done it feels very intentional like they've really thought about how the new stuff is going to play against the old stuff and how to make each update cohesive with, within itself 
just a great job. I'm so impressed by all the work they've done. Once again, if you're thinking about grabbing Plate Up, I would certainly recommend it. I made a lot of videos about it before, and and honestly, I think Plate Up deserved to be Game of the Year. That's how much I've enjoyed it. But I'm gonna get back to work on that other video for my creature modeling series, and hopefully get that out to you next week. I hope you had some fun checking out the new Plate Up update with me. I'll be back soon, probably with a game dev video, so don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching, I hope you have a good day, and goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye.